Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back with another tutorial. Hope you guys are all doing so great. Um, so, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to be talking about how to make a wind effect. Now, I did not make this script, just so you guys know. This is an open source. And um, you guys are going to be able to find all the links in the description. So, go over here and check those out. You can find the discords. You can find everything like that. Make sure to join discorders, by the way, because we do host giveaways and I do help out everyone that is in need of it. But um, yeah, so right here is where this link will take you, of course, and there's a lot of stuff you can look at this. Now, this uh, dev form provides a lot of examples, how you, oh, okay, how they can be used, um, which is really nice. You know, they clear and I mean, it's just amazing uh, what they did here and um, you can do a lot. Now, there's uh, GitHub for this. There is the library just right here. Um, I also provided this on mine. Of course, you can get it if you'd like your choice. Um, but I will provide all of these in the description and um, yeah, so uh, there is a lot of stuff you can do. There's directions, there's speeds, there's powers, and there is actually a wind shake editor plugin. Now this actually makes it so you can shake leaves, um, which is really, really nice. I honestly really recommend checking out. I'm not going to be showing you guys about that today, um, but I'm just going to show you how to do it in a nudge. Um, this, I didn't know you have to buy like that. Maybe they do have it in Roblox probably. Um, there's probably other ones as well, but yeah, so this is made by them and um, yeah, ch check out the last video by the way We did the donation boards, but um, yeah, so it's very simple So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that model now if you didn't grab it You should just it should just look like this of course um, And you're able to download it. You're able to get it whatever's easier You can also go to my inventory profile find it there if you'd like um, and you go to your toolbox and it should be in inventory right here for me It's mine is wind effects um, and all you would do is you basically import it and it should just be a simple little thing And of course I already have mine right here, but you're gonna be putting this into starter player scripts now reason being is this is going to load every time a player joins of course and It's going to do the whole thing now, one thing I did wish about this wind was it would not go through parts, but sadly, that's not the issue. Um, I don't know if they would be able to fix that in the future, but yeah, so you can change a lot of stuff. So you got the wind speed and the power and, you know, lifetime and spawn rate. So depending on how you want to do this, you can change the speed to like, and this is, by the way, second speeds. Um, so lifetime, this is probably two seconds. I don't know if it's minutes. I didn't really see. Um, but either way, this is how it works. I'm not the best at this kind of stuff. Um, but as you can tell, this is just the setting spawn rate exactly how many you like Maybe you can cut that down to like five or such, but that's really all you got to do this tutorial is gonna be really short I just wanted to show you um, And yeah, so they got the wind lines and shake now just so you know This is actually not even like these are just um, made from scripts, which is really really cool um, No parts or no nothing needed. They just uh, Are making it purely through scripting, which is awesome. So yeah that's about it. Pretty simple. Um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That means so much to me. And um, I hope you learned that just that little tiny tutorial. And put that in the Star Player Scripts and you'll be set and you already got it into your game. I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.